This is video number 11 for all the instruments. And of course, this is the, the second playlist, the second set of videos this is all for book two. All right, so you need your Essential Elements book two, and I want you to open up to page number 17. You also need to have a pencil with you. Now, we're gonna manipulate these 16th notes again, much like we did in the last video. It's gonna be slightly different though. So, what I have up here is one measure in four four time of 16th notes. Now, I know your book chooses to use two four time. I like using four four time mainly so you can learn two different things, okay? So to, to kind of make sure we're still understanding our counting. So, four sixteenth notes in one beat, okay? Two sixteenth notes in an eighth note, in half a beat. What we did in the last video is we took the first two sixteenth notes and, and squished them back together and turned them into an eighth note. Now what we're gonna do is take the last two and turn them back into eighth notes, okay? So, what is that going to look like? Well, whoops. It's going to be basically the reverse of what you did. So look in your book real quick. And I'm going to be holding up a viola book in this case. Look at 75 and look right next to it, just like we did up here, okay? And look, it has that set of 16th notes. And what it has, it's very tiny, but it has these two notes tied together. So we're taking those last two 16th notes and squishing them together. So we're taking these two 16th notes and turning them back into an eighth note. Now what happens here is this second note, it's the second note that we squish into this third one here. So it looks a little different in your book because they spaced it out a little bit differently, but now that has become an eighth note. Notice it stays in the same place because these two notes combined together to make an eighth note right here. So notice, it still is on the te, okay? So now we have one top te. I underlined all the, whoops, I just forgot to underline the two. I underlined all the numbers and the te's. Why is that? Because that's when our clicks are gonna happen. So we're gonna have eighth notes on our metronome, okay? So this is when all the clicks happen. So now we gotta squeeze two notes into the first click, and then on the second click, we have our second note. So instead of it being run pony, it's gonna be pony run, that's all. And we're gonna do it here again. I'm not gonna do it for the whole measure because just for time's sake, I'm gonna squish these two in. I take that second note and squish it into this one. And this is how we designate it. Now you might be thinking, oh yeah, she's taking that bar away. That's not an eighth note. No, it's not. Cause look, it still, has, it still has two bars. It doesn't matter that it's only on one side of it. Okay, that is, those are two 16th notes followed by an eighth note. And what has happened to this ta, it has now become part of this note. Okay? Does the ta still exist? It absolutely does. All right, so when we have our metronome, when we're playing this rhythm, we've got to make sure that this note happens on the second click. So if here's the metronome clicking eighth notes, one top te, one top te, one top te, one top te. Okay? So let's have the metronome going. One top te, that's where that happens. Pony run, pony run. One top te, two top te. One top te, two top te. So again, just like you did on the first part of this page in 72 through 74, you're gonna use this much bow for the eighth notes, only this much for the 16th notes. So it's gonna go short, short, long, short, short, long. One top te, pony run. Play that with me. No, I lied. Play it after me. Echo me. I'm going to do one whole measure of 4-4 four, four time. Not your book. I'm going to do one whole measure of Pony Run, one tate. Two sixteenths and an eighth. Echo me. One tate, two tate, three tate, and go. One tate, two tate, three tate, four tate. Again. Tate, four tate. Okay, now I want you to take your book out and look at number 75. Take your pencil out and I want you to do the counting beneath it. So it says one e and change that. You can cross it out, you can just write over, it does not matter to me. One ta te, two ta te. Now what about this? We gotta start back over at one. One te two. Te. Hopefully you can finish this out. One ta te, two ta te, one 
this also gets tay, and then here's two and it also gets tay. I like to put the tays underneath, okay? So you can pause that and get that right, okay? Now, I would like for you to shadow bow number 75. Again, with the click, one top tay, that's when that happens. Click, click, one top tay, that's on that second click, because that second click happens on the eighth note part, okay? Shadow bow 75. On open, well, open D, but shadow bow 75, and with the repeat, and one top te, shadow bow. One top te, two top te, one te, two te, one top te, two top te, one te, with repeat. One te, two te, one top te, two top te, one te, rest. Okay, now play with me, 75. And a uh, one ta te ready to go. One ta te two ta te one te two te one ta te two ta te one te and repeat. One te two te one ta te two ta te one te rest. Make sure that last note gets one te rest. Okay. Now going on to seventy six. If you need to redo seventy five, pause the video and do so. Because 76 is the same thing, but now with notes. Okay, same rhythm. Oh, what else does it have though? Do you see how some of the eighth notes have staccato marks and some of them don't? Make sure you, you, you're really looking at that. Okay, some of the eighth notes have staccato, some of them don't. Shadow bow 76 and a one ta te shadow bow. <laughs> Use a fourth of the bow. Don't pull a faster bow. Don't go. You're gonna no, not half a bow on those eighth notes. Those eighth notes get a fourth of a bow because you're gonna get a fourth of beat of sound, a fourth of beat of silence because you're staccato. Okay, play now number seventy six. No stabbing the eighth notes that are staccato or the other ones for that matter. Seventy six and one ta te. Play with me. Go. to cut short. Make sure it gets two te off. Play that with me now. 77. Hidey down and one top te. Play with me. Go. Little bows. Little bows. Two te off. Okay. Those should be fairly easy for you. Okay. Once you're able to play 72 through 77, you'll be ready for your next video. We are going to do in the next video some learning how to count, like one practice counting, one te ta te, and all that kind of stuff, so that you'll be able to do rhythm worksheets and things like that, and be prepared to count even more difficult rhythms. So make sure you're understanding all of this and how to count them before you try your next video.